Hey guys, Tyrep mm -hmm. here, bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. We are on Echo Isles. Blue nice Shay's spawning ready. on the left. We've got Colorful. There's his Night Elf getting himself out a Keeper of the Grove. Facing off here, some on the right. We have Soen playing Zork and going for the Blademaster. Also getting himself out a uh, fast Voodoo Lounge. No barracks. So going for an extremely quick tick here. Sounds out there, buys the consumables, gets rid of the TP. Looks like he's coming over to harass. Ancient of War creeping, uh, getting completed there, and uh, the Keeper end. coming across, maybe looking for his own harass. So, and quick to react to this, and really good blocking on the Keeper. It's a couple hits in. And now, what is going to happen here? <laughs> Barracks is underway. Maybe he's going to come across, get some treants out, try and harass the peon line. Just uh, quite exposed at the moment. We've got one burrow very Our far forwards. Have engaged the enemy. Nope. Treants coming over here with the archer teaming up, trying to uh, get Your level two. Good control there. Doesn't let that treant die. Try and maximize the damage. And here we go. It's the big null. I don't think the archer's going to be out of 2v1 these though, without draining the moon wells heavily, so. Not sure exactly what the plan is here. He's pumping out some hunts. And uh, sneaking a tree of life down here, going to be an expansion. Here we go, it does at level 2. Goddess, light my path. And Blade Master coming back in, maybe not so worried about his base anymore. Got a war mill going up in the back, another burrow in the front. Where's this buddy peon going? Scouting, I guess maybe he's worried about this camp getting crept from under him, or maybe even this one in the center. Unsure of where exactly Colorful is right now. And he's coming over here for the expansion creep. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Goddess Driven about life halfway life. complete. And uh, here we come. Could he get in here and steal the big creep? Research we do have dust on the blade master. Oh, the blade master is dusted by the keeper. You no, know, he's going in for it. Trying to clear it out. Another wind walk. Tangle. Well, <laughs> he must have did not get the experience. Unfortunately for him, his healing salve got interrupted by the creeps. So he's uh, licking his wounds now. He wants to come back in for the final creep, but can't quite get it done. And so far, this blade master has been largely unsuccessful. I don't think he scouted this tree of life yet either. So he could be in for a nasty surprise. But he has seen the hunt, so he knows that he's got to be expecting a fast expansion, but maybe not quite this fast. And you're chopping away at this low health hunt. Good control from Colorful though, bringing it away to safety. Doing most of the tanking of this fight so far on the Trents. There we go. Finishes off the camp. Blade Master very low in health. Pulls back for some heal self action. Meanwhile, if the Shadow Hunter creeping out this camp in the north. He went for Hex first, as you can see. Which is uh, strange. Since, oh, that's unfortunate with the heal self there again for someone. Because usually we see uh, healing wards, I mean, uh, wards, super wards, and. Uh, Healing wave. Goddess, light my path. It's an odd choice. You know, with Hex, you can pick off one or two units maybe in the early game. But he's not trying to get aggressive with the Shadow Hunter in the early finish. game. So. 
our sacred grove is also being better for hero focus if he's going to go Ready that route. Let the Nicer coming over here, trying to interrupt the gold mine. Slow that down a little bit. Here comes the alchemist though, and the Research keeper change. getting aggressive. Gonna find the orc army creeping up a big camp. Bad Body time to get interrupted. With a very close to three here. Hex coming in. You have a wisp nearby. It's a bomb. Grunt's gonna go down here. Lightning shield on the hunt does a bit of damage. Here we go, level 3 for the Keeper. Good interrupt there by Colourful. Now it's just going to have to do a really safe camp. The Keeper's just too scary at the moment. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Just coming over here looking to harass the Entangling Gold Mine once again. It's going to be a close race here. And so now it's just coming Goddess back across as well. Respect the ready for the repairs. But it looks like it's going to go up. Not quite enough damage. And the wisps can get on the repairs. Blade Mouse has to abandon ship. Would really like to interrupt that one more time there, but... The fortunately it does not come good. Coming off to his own expansion position. A few upgrades here for the shaman. Grunts. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. There's some of evasion here for the blade master. Gonna make him a little bit beefier. And level three for the shadow hunter. Your building is complete. Pops that into level 2 wards. Meanwhile, this camp done in the center. And here we go, first real fight of the game. Scroll of the Beast, Scroll of Protection, and the Orc Army doesn't want a single bar of that. Trying to run away. Warding up as he goes. But yeah, you don't, you don't want to fight with those two activated. As a losing fight 100% of the time. Try to make sure his units don't get entangled here, trying to run away. Our warriors the shaman in low health grunts to safety. And he's going to pop a speed scroll here just to make sure that that happens. I think it's a good choice. The healing salves now on his army. This gold mine is up and running. And he's already got close to a thousand out of it. Now creeping aggressively right outside someone's base. Is looking rather bad for Soen. They've plays with similar food counts now as well. And Hunter's Hall getting some upgrades now also, so he's going to be 2-1 uh, very shortly. So things Research are looking finish. extremely I good ready. for Colourful right now. I don't know Your how Soen's going to get this done. base can purge off one of those but look at how quickly these hunts are chopping through the base chop down gonna be two barrows down shortly as well there's one the watchtower also getting interrupted or can be finally making it back but that's gonna be a town portal out oh well, that was costly three buildings down supply blocked I stand ready Colourful doesn't feel the need to uh, push in aggressively. He can now just build up a larger army, try to get himself up to 80. Maybe end up about 20 food ahead of Soen by the time the next fight happens. But Soen, not going to let this one Your stand. He's coming complete. across to expansion. Going to try to bash ready. through it Our with his grunts. He's got a few of them. Six Our grunts. Grove is being desecrated. He's uh, dashing away now. Got a couple of serpent wards up as well. Doesn't look like he researched pillage, but he did a lot of damage to that tree. Now he's leaving the grunts to deal with the wisps. 
That's very, very low in come the trends, but very good on the purge. Two hunts go down quickly. And this is looking really good for Soin here all of a sudden. And the Wisp didn't end up doing that many repairs because the two grunts left behind. They're coming back in for more repairs now, but the Matt Serpent Wards chopping through these Huntresses so quickly. Heal scroll activated. But the Hunts are continuing to fall. And the Lightning Shield also doing some really good damage. No Wisps here in the fight for Colorful, and that might have been a big mistake. Lightning Shield so damaging. And the Night Elf army here getting picked apart, but Shadow Hunter is dry. Maybe enough for one more ward this fight. Back the other way. Uh oh, Alchemist. Activates the Invault. Hawk Army very low. Think about pulling back a little bit. Pop a few cells. Goddess, light my path. Wonder if the heal scrolls back at the shop by now. This Night Elf army is repopulating quickly. It's like a scout wisp coming out here. Checking if there's an expansion behind this. Okay, that's a smart move. Picks up a staff for teleportation. Goes back to the shop, picks up a few consumables. It's a good choice. I stand he's, good. he's got a beefy amount of towers there to defend his main now as well. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Interesting. I guess that's not a bad idea to plop down a few towers while your supply stuck like he was for such a long time. In fact, still is. Our warriors have engaged I the enemy. I stand ready. Goddess, light my path. There we go. Now I'll start reproducing. But it just shows how little Soen lost in that fight. I don't think he lost basically anything. Still has six grunts. I can't remember how many shaman he had. But at max he lost one of them. So that is incredibly good preservation from him in that fight. Now pay dividends in the long run. Shadow Hunter coming back into this fight with close to full health, but this time we got a lot of wisps here for colorful. We're not gonna make that mistake twice in one match. Not quite as many wards built up this time as well. Oh, level three on the Blade Master there. It's a big one, okay. Fighting getting underway. Blade Master low straight away. Wisps not getting deep. One grunt goes down, Blade Master low, and he's pulling back. The Wisp is just such a deterrent here. And this time we're going to see quite a few orc units falling. So let's buy the shop. Did he pick up a heal scroll there or did he already use it in the last fight? Okay, speed scrolling out. Hunts are so fast though. Ooh, lightning shield onto one of them, that's sneaky. And uh, he's, he's going to extract. So this one got entangled though. Maybe not going to make it home. But someone back up to God 50. Colourful. Knocking on the door of 70 food though. Still 2-1 on the upgrades. Nothing in production on the Hunter's Hall either. himself on the shop wants all those consumables oh quick on the detonate there nice to see Chair hunter pretty close to level four now i guess he's gonna go for i stand oh, ready. fighting underway put that on hold lightning shield onto the blade master he's taking a lot of damage with the uh, acid bomb and the archers focus firing him down early on. But he's getting quite low here. Activates the involved pot. He did a lot of damage. He was great activated on him as well. I'm taking a lot of damage from these serpent wards once again. This time a much better positioning. Features off those trench really quickly. Heal scroll on the night outside. And uh, this is looking good once again for Soen. Better positioning for him. And as we come down the last couple uh, pieces of this fight. It's pretty good preservation from Colourful as well. He got away with a lot of low health hunts there. And 
Yeah, I mean, at the end of that fight, California's up down close to 20 food to Soen's maybe f 5 or 10 with uh, reproduction accounted for. So, <laughs> really good trades for Soen. He has him having to use a lot of consumables in all these fights, though, so maybe that makes the trades not quite as good for Soen as they seem. God Use a whole like bunch of cells, path. heal scrolls, and vol pots. It's an important economy, especially on Eco Isles with just the one shot for those consumables. And we're all going the way of the keeper here. Oh, it looks like he's pulled his peons off the line to do a bit of long range gold Our mining. He's got 1200 lumber, that's a good choice. Doesn't really need any more for a very long time. But he's just gonna keep on this fighting. He's one two upgraders. Goddess light my path. Going back in. To focus down oh, and come the wisps again. Couple ready this time. Blade Master goes out back to pick them off. I stand ready. He doesn't want to fight. That is a lot of wisps. Okay, he's going to try fighting this choke, it looks like. Try protection on the Night Elf side. Dead Nate's going off, but not getting on top of the Shaman yet. Well, that one kind of did. Hunt down. Hunt down. Trent's coming in from the side. One perched off. So a couple left. Okay, Dead Nate. So he managed to extract himself. He lost a grunt in the shaman. Not too bad. And now speed's growing to get out safely once again. Take a look. Okay, gold mines. Gonna run dry in the not too distant future now. So I'm gonna be careful. He's getting expansion up at some stage. He hasn't gone tier 3 either, so. A tiny great hall. Colorful hair wisps for the next fight. Doesn't look like it. Spent most of them ch in that last chase down. Oh, is he really going to try fight in the orc base? I feel like if this was Moon, Moon would just go for another expansion over here, honestly. Research finished. But yeah, you can't really fight in the orc base with the burrows, with the towers, fortified armor as well. Okay, a couple of wisps coming along this time, four of them. Well, they could find the orc army in a rather compromised position right here. Come the wisps. Oh, but they're going to get right on top of the Shaman. Two good detonates there. The other two not so good. Not fighting. Blade Master in the back, but he's entangled. Still got the Lightning Shield up, though. Doing some good damage. And Lightning Shield going a few more of the not enough units. They're having trouble moving around. He hides that, though. Nicely done. Very, very low hunts. He's gone to town portal out to get to safety. Oh, but so many night of units dropping. Carfer once again down to You're 50 food after that fight. So and just controlling these fights so well. Despite time and time again coming in, you know, 10 to 20 food behind. He's fighting really Research strongly and you can kind of see it, how quickly his hero levels are going up compared to the Night Elf heroes. Pretty big dis experience disadvantage previously, but much closer to level pegging on that department now. And once he gets those level 3 wards on the Shadow Hunter, which he's not too far away from now, it's going to be nasty. Oh boy, but that was a monster detonate. Took down all of the Shaman and Shadow Hunter's mana. But he took down the tree. 
Upgrade finished. And uh, he's managed to extract himself. The keeper wasn't there for the entangle to assist with the chase. How is he doing this? Goddess, light my path. He's like 6,000 gold behind, but still in this game. May even be here at this stage. Okay, I'm run. Transferring over some items and speed scrolling out. His army very, very low. Three grunts will fall quickly here if he doesn't get out. Is he going to bring the peons in for the next fight? Or was that just some long range mining continuing? Oh, he's going to pick off one grunt. Maybe get off a peon or two here as well. Got pulling all the way back into his base. But the firepower from those towers. Colourful does not want to mess around with that. Pulls back immediately. Does have a level 5 on the Keeper, but not on the Alchemist yet. So, could potentially do a little bit more creeping. Try and achieve that. Our gold mine has collapsed. Night Elf mine gone. Orc mine not far behind now. And uh, this expansion just about complete, but still has to entangle the mine. So, you know, both players are going to be on low finished. resources for the next minute or so. Someone has to make the push. Has to make sure the expansion doesn't go down, otherwise he's going to be way behind. Okay, he's bringing all his peons in. Is he sending them for gold or is he bringing them in for the fight? It looks like he's sending them on long range gold mining. Research finished. Pretty long Congo line there. But colorful with only a three food advantage right here. And uh, okay, this may be smart. So I'm gonna try solo creep the shadow hunter up to five at this big camp. Fight. And here we go. Gets it. As well as a ring of regeneration. Okay. Not the best. Decent on the Blade Master, I suppose. Your building Doesn't is room on the Blade Master. We got a little bit of creeping. Colourful as well before pulling back, but his keeper was in the mix, so it didn't get maximum experience on that. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Got a couple of sentries around. I think I heard one of them being purged off. Speaking of purge, Trent's getting purged off quickly. Fighting underway and come a few wisps. Shaman on the run, but the Blade Master chopping through those wisps nicely. And good purge on them to store their process. Really good handling of the wisps so far this game. And the hunter dropping fast, the wards blasting through them. They must have immobilized here, but getting on top of the archers now and the lightning shield doing some great damage. Grunt front line getting a little bit low here, doesn't have much left. And boy has to be activated on the blade master. Both armies getting very low, level 5 there for the alchemist. Oh, but he picks off the keeper with a huge critical. Now I'm going to pick off a couple more hunts with the Serpent Wards. Those are the beefy ones. Look at the amount of piercing damage they do. It's insane. Nice nice comes in for a little bit more damage. He can play a little bit risky. You know, he's got the Ring of Regen. got the double armor as well. I stand ready. And uh, yeah, Colourful may be making the wrong decision here, trying to fight through these wards for a little bit. Now the Alchemist in trouble, speed scroll with the Purge, fresh Shaman that manages to heal spray himself back up. So someone has to pull back. And this is up in mining, he's got a, a one <laughs> as a spear as well. 
I must so once again, colourful the land. getting the goal going, and with that, he buys back from the tavern with the keeper. Colourful with a five food advantage, but it's only going to continue to grow. He's out mining so in tremendously right now. Now these heroes are nasty. Shadow Hunter nearly six. Not that it's going to make a huge difference. He actually didn't go for heal wave either. He went for level ready. two hex. Just maybe explains how he managed to get the keeper before. I don't know. this. Do you think? Is this animation like when this tree is mining gold, the roots kind of pump? Because this one isn't. I stand ready. Was that just like a tree of life versus tree of eternity kind of animation? I've noticed that before. A nice pick off there. Gets one archer. But still not ideal to fight close to the night owl base at night with the moon was so close by. Oh, the venom here on the keeper doing some really good damage as well. Oh, come on, he's just slowly having to pull back with no healing wave. On the shadow hunter. Kind of struggling in these fights. Oh, but there we go, critical on to the alchemist. And he just lets it die. He didn't try to run it back. I think he, you know, he, he got thrown off by the hex. Speaking of hex, another hex onto the keeper. Keeper in some trouble. And he lets it die too. He had an invo on that. He could have activated it. I don't know what happened there. Has he got lag or something? That was really weird. The Alchemist, maybe I could understand, you know, his Keeper got hexed, maybe right as he was trying to activate the stuff of Tele uh, Sanctuary. Preservation. But, uh... Yeah, the Keeper, he could have activated the Envol Pot on it. Ah, that was really confusing to me. Now it's just turned into one of those, like, hero defense modes. Two Orc heroes versus the Night Elf Army, and the Night Elf Army... Is not faring too well. A very strange ending to this match. Let's speed it up because there's not much going on right now. Long range mining, you know, just slowly paying dividends, buying enough of consumables for these orc heroes. Alchemist bought back from the tavern. He's marching his way over to ready. the expansion now. Our warriors have engaged the Sentinel enemy. Sentinel spots him. I stand ready. And we've got a decent night of army here. Seven archers and the defended. alchemist with full mana. Let's see how it gets on. There's no acid bomb. He sold um, quite a lot of the items here from the Blade Master, so he's a lot more vulnerable. Here we go, level 6 and the Blade Storm coming through. All of the archers going down. And there we go, finally Acid Bond's the Blade Master now, but why didn't he do that at the start of the fight? Very, very confusing. So it's bashing away at the Tree of Eternity now, but that's not the one that's entangling the mine. Not the most important one at this stage. I stand Keep coming ready. back from the altar. Ooh, those serpent wards are loud on double time. <laughs> so nice to go and chasing. Picks off the archer. Get the keeper's back. I stand ready. And he's got some good damage on the Blade Master there. All with Venom chipping in for a lot. Here we go, going after the Tree of Life now. Even though it's piercing versus fortified, these wards just spinning out so much damage. Here we go. It's gone both of the trees. We could potentially mine from this uh, deceased.
But that's level 6 for the Keeper. Might not matter too much when you're up against Hex. Treants, he's going to do a little bit of creeping here. Long range mining continues. Got a thousand gold out of it so far from that. Speaking of uh, items, I stand Period ready. Of vitality there. Okay, activating the tranquility just to heal up the keeper here that tanked a lot during that creep camp. Got a very fast cooldown. Probably doesn't need it for much else. And here we go. Orc heroes looking to pick off the archers. Your blade storm to break through though. It's down one archer, can't really do too much with the rest. And the alchemist is back now. Soin might be overextending here. Keeper still has enough for a couple more entangles. They must have very low. He pops hex Our to prevent the entangle. The enemy. But the orc heroes are on the run again. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. And there we go, that's the last shaman gone. Yeah, that blade storm maybe just wasn't strong enough. Took down one archer, did a little bit of damage to the keeper, but did Our not maximize its potential. Here come the Night Elf heroes doing a bit of damage to the orc base. Maybe looking to take down the shot and lock him out of those consumables. Heal cells and the clarities. Chipping away at the base. Got no more expansion attempts here from Colorful, so this is what he's got. Our warriors have engaged. Yeah, it's coming back, pops him in the burrow for a little bit of extra damage. Dropping them off with the gold. Three towers back there though, they spit out a little bit of damage. Is that a fresh shaman he managed to produce as well? Those orc towers, you know, they got very long range. Tricky to deal with. Okay, here we go. Fighting is underway, going after the archers once again with the blade master. I'm gonna pick them off. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. He's going to be able to get one. No. Nice use of the hide and then the heal spray to get them back healthy. And so I'm having to pull back now. Oh. Tango on the Shadow Hunter. Going after the Shaman. One shot from death. Oh, picks off an archer there though. Oh, might get another one. Yep, those wards doing some great damage. Staffs out one of them. But only one archer left now. Tangle onto the Blade Master though. Oh, gets away. Shadow Hunter in a little bit of trouble. And Tangle on the Shadow Hunter. Pops the uh, Crystal Ball for the reveal. Oh, nice use of the Heal Wave right as the Our Blade Master arrived. Maximize that healing. And the Triple Tower is spitting out too much damage. He can't go for the chase down. He had a. Uh, just enough consumables left. What's this voodoo lounge? Did he rebuild this? Maybe he did. Tranquility on the other side, healing back up to full. And fighting underway. Hicks on to the keeper. Bring up the archers. Stops that one out. Well preserved. They must have taking a bit of focus fire, but no mana left on these Night Elf heroes. Can't really kill the Blade Master. Mana push finally used by the Shadow Hunter. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, that's the only way he could kill him if the Blade Master just ran back in and let himself get killed. He's desperately trying to kill the Keeper here now. Purge, but the Staff out saves the day. And now just the Shadow Hunter takes down one archer. Can he muster up the gold for the rebuy on the Blade Master? What's he doing with the Shadow Hunter? He's playing so risky. That's a bomb. And he's dead. Running around on 30 health. What a throw. I thought that was Soans. All he had to do was pull back. Use a few more consumables thanks to the gold he got from the long range gold mining. And then come out for another push. I think with the next one he would have got the game. But instead he just throws away both his heroes there. Well, <laughs> that, was a, that was a strange one after such good fighting throughout the entire match. So and just uh, lets it slip away from him right at the end there. Well, I'll wrap on that guys. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft 3 action. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.